minimum force required to move a body up a rough inclined plane required to move a body up an inclined plane an inclined plane you have to find the expression of minimum force required to move a body up an inclined plane we can draw an inclined plane ab theta is the angle of inclination of the inclined plane ab ab is the the body is placed on the inclined plane mg is the weight which is acting vertically downwards and mg is resolved into two rectangular components this component uh, is mg cos theta and this this will be again angle of inclination theta we can prove that this angle will be again angle of inclination and this rectangular component of a with mg is mg cos theta ab is the inclined plane and ac is the vertical plane other component of weight mg is mg sin theta mg sin theta this component is mg sin theta so here we can draw a perfect rectangle uh, for the resolution of the weight mg for the uh, resolution of weight mg mg sin theta is the rectangular component which acts parallel to the inclined plane ab and in this case angle of inclination theta is less than the angle of repose so that the body will be at rest on the inclined plane ab the body will not be moving under the action of the rectangular component mg sin theta because angle of inclination theta is less than angle of repose now an external force fx is acted on the body up the inclined plane to move the body fx is the external force applied on the body to move the body up the inclined plane as a result limiting friction fl will be acting on the surface in contact between the body and the inclined plane down the inclined plane this uh, limiting friction fl acts down the inclined plane and it it acts on the surface in contact fl is the limiting friction which acts down the inclined plane and we can denote the normal reaction r which is perpendicular to the inclined plane and uh, at equilibrium this normal reaction r will be equal to mg cos theta m is the mass of the body let theta be the angle of inclination theta be the angle of inclination of the inclined plane ab of the inclined plane ab such that The, uh, such that uh, theta is less than theta r and theta r is the angle of repose theta r is the angle of repose theta r be the angle of repose as theta less than theta r the body is at rest it does not move down the inclined plane under the action of the rectangular component of the weight mg now the weight mg of the body placed on the inclined plane placed on the inclined plane is resolved into is resolved into two rectangular components two rectangular components a mg cos theta and mg sin theta mg cos theta and mg sin theta such that the rectangular component mg sin uh, cos theta mg cos theta is perpendicular to the inclined plane ab and mg sin theta is parallel to the inclined plane ab mg cos theta rectangular component is perpendicular to the inclined plane ab and mg sin theta component acts parallel to the inclined plane ab as theta less than theta r the body is at rest on the inclined plane ab 
on the inclined plane AB. Now, an external force FEX, an external force FEX is applied on the body, is applied on the body to move it up the inclined plane, to move it, to move it up the inclined plane and The force of limiting friction comes into play on the surface in contact between the body and inclined plane that is FL comes into play down the inclined plane. The limiting friction FL comes into play to oppose its motion up the inclined plane. up the inclined plane. Fx is the external force which is acted up the inclined plane on the body. Limiting friction Fl comes into play which acts down the inclined plane to oppose the motion of the body up the inclined plane. So hence uh, uh, Fx is acting up the inclined plane that is external force and mg sin theta and Fl. That means mg sin theta plus Fl is the net internal force acting in the opposite direction. At this verge of motion of the body up the inclined plane, applied external force, applied external force should be equal to the applied external force up the inclined plane, up the inclined plane is equal to net internal force experienced by the body in the opposite direction means down the inclined plane. Net internal force acting on the body in the opposite direction. Opposite direction means uh, this net internal force should be acting down the inclined plane. Hence, Fx equal mg sin theta plus Fl. Fx equal mg sin theta plus Fl. Here if we draw the diagram again inclined plane, the body is placed on the inclined plane and external force Fx is acted on the body. And mg sin theta acts down the inclined plane, limiting friction also acts down the inclined plane. In this case, applied external force Fx will be equal to sum of mg sin theta and Fl mg sin theta plus fl will be equal to fx at this equilibrium condition so fx is equal to mg sin theta plus mu dot r where limiting friction fl is equal to mu dot r and mu is a coefficient of static friction of the inclined plane coefficient of friction or static friction or limiting friction of the inclined plane and r is equal to mg cos theta which is the normal reaction on the body applied by the rough inclined plane which is the normal reaction in the diagram the component mg sin theta acts uh, perpendicular to the inclined plane ab and normal reaction r, r acts perpendicular to the inclined plane ab but uh, in upward direction so uh, uh, in this uh, equilibrium condition R equal to mg cos theta. Here Fx is equal to mg sin theta plus mu r or Fx equal mg sin theta plus mu into mg cos theta. So finally we get Fx as equal to mg bracket open sin theta plus mu cos theta. This is the minimum force required to move a body up the inclined plane such that theta is equal less than theta.